Greetings and salutations, internet friends, and welcome to another episode of First Time Film Club. My name is Emily, the titular first timer. This is Matthew, my husband, Santa Sherpa, and viewer submitted title <coughs> Celluloid Cognizant. Yeah. All right. Because he knows he's very knowledgeable. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> base level. Base level. Very base level knowledge. <laughs> uh, well, you know more than me, and that's a lot in my opinion. That one was submitted by David Wellman. Thank you so much, David. You too can submit your uh, titles for Matthew. Just drop them in the comments below using hashtag title, and then just say what you want to say. For those of you who are new, we are watching our way through a very long list of movies that I have never seen, but that Matthew has. Um, and as it is the month of October, a.k.a. spooky season, we are watching a bunch of horror movies. Mm -hmm. That being said, Matthew, what, you, what are we watching? Tonight we are watching the 1974 horror movie, The Texas Chainsaw Massacre. And as per usual, I don't give you anything other than the genre and the name. You, uh, you go in with whatever you already know about the movie. You let everyone know what you know. Then we watch it and review and laugh at how wrong you were about what you thought you knew. <laughs> well, did I know a, a couple of things about Texas Chainsaw Massacre. That I think there's been at least 27 remakes. Um, I know that there's a chainsaw. Maybe. Maybe they're throwing you for a loop. Who knows? I'm, I'm almost certain there's a chainsaw. I want to say... Okay. So I have seen The Hills Have Eyes. And I want to say that this has like crazy hillbillies, but I may be misconstruing it with that movie. Okay. Uh, the, I do think though. Do you love me? I don't know. What are you about to say? <laughs> okay, so I don't. Got really, a lot riding on this. <laughs> I don't really watch wrestling, but there's a wrestler. That I feel like is the the main character from this movie. He's got like a mask. He's I know who you're talking about. There's a lot of wrestlers with masks on, but you're no, specifically it's like a it's like a you're crazy. specifically talking about mankind. Mankind, that's it. I was like man cage. <laughs> no. I don't think that's right. Oh, but he's got like a leather mask, and this guy has a leather mask, leather face. I'm pretty sure. You don't have to tell me now, but I want to know later if mankind like built his persona around this, 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 this bad, this booging. I don't know. Okay, but that's uh, that's all I know. I don't know when it, who done it. I don't know who's in it. Well, all right, in it. <laughs> that it? I think so. I think we're ready to watch the movie. <laughs> Okay. Um, this one, if you are interested, will be available. Um, the full reaction, rather, will be available to watch on our Patreon. Um, check the link in the description for more information there. Anything else from you before we get you? Uh, oh, uh, we got feedback on the whether or not to watch the movies in the dark and whether or not the the infrared setting on the camera worked well. A lot of people said it worked well and they liked it. There were some people who said that they preferred uh, in color and not in the uh, in the dark. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna try to find, use, find a balance. Gonna try to find a balance. So some will be in the dark, some will not be in the dark. This one will not be in the dark. Correct. The only other thing is for new viewers, uh, you'll see me with my phone in my hand at uh, parts of the movie probably because I'm taking notes on things to talk about after the movie. Yep. And other than that, I am good to go. All right, here we go. That's a chainsaw. The events of that day were to lead to the discovery of one of the most bizarre crimes in the annals of American history, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Wait, is this based on a real story? Do you recognize that sound? Yes, you I do. Like you've heard it before. I, I hate it. <laughs> I don't hate it. It scares me, though. It's doing its job. 
Have you been doing those Reader's Digest Word Power columns again? Gary, it just means Saturn's a bad influence. It's just particularly a bad influence now because it's in retrograde. Hey, man, you believe all that stuff your old lady's talking to me? I don't know. I like those glasses. I know that. Big, heavy fellas are standing with that flashlight in his hand. That's a sure. Oh. Okay. He'll let you in. Thank you. Say, fella, I'm going to run off with the girl a minute. You don't mind, do you? What the damn hell? That's the old slaughterhouse. That's where Grandpa used to sell his cattle. Hey, you see those buildings there? That's where they kill them. They bash them in the head with a big sledgehammer. I think they use a... like a rail gun nowadays. I don't know. Mm. Yeah. Spike situation. Like, that whole thing makes the movie more real to me. It's like driving by chicken houses down here. Oh, yeah. In, out in the country. The smell is awful. Yeah. People shouldn't kill animals for food. Oh, well, they don't do it like that anymore. Now they got this big air gun that shoots a bolt into their skull. <laughs> Hitchhiker. Should we pick him up? Oh, yeah. No! Oh, doing a little dance there. Okay. I don't know that that would encourage me to pick you up. Wah! <laughs> Especially, you know, with... Venus is swamp gas and retrograde. And it's blah, blah. Saturn, <laughs> sir. Get it right. Well, I think we just picked up Dracula. <laughs> With the new way people put out a job. I'm having a brain fart. He looks like Darth Vader's grandson. Driver. Adam Driver. Adam Driver. Yeah. <laughs> Kylo. Kylo, that's where it. <laughs> no, baby. No, baby. No, baby. Why you do? I'm sorry, Franklin. Bruh, could you drive faster? You'd be lucky if you didn't slit your tire. I believe that boy's cheese has slid off his cracker. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> what is that? Louis C.K. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> when I look, you, you boys don't want to go mess around the old house. You don't want to go fooling around other folks' property. <laughs> oh, my father owns it. He told y'all not to go there. Hmm. I know. The premise of all horror movies. Doom. <laughs> well, creation there, huh? Well, <gasps> Get. Get. You, no. No. You got fetishes. You got little bone critters. Get. Set that place on fire and get. You're welcome. No, nah, it's just to, to fix a rupper. <laughs> to fix a rupper. It's got character. Yeah, you know, all kinds. Not. The evil character. Hello, is anybody home? Oh, Lord, it's time to go. <laughs> That's breaking and entering. Is anybody home? It's a wellness check. That's a what? A wellness check. Oh. Nope. Nope. Get out of there. Don't. Ah, you idiot. Oh. Fool. <laughs> Fool. <laughs> I'll tell you what. He not doing so well now. Wellness. I did mm -hmm. it. I, mm -hmm. I got you. I'm sorry. Ow. Ow. That's a murder house. I don't believe I'd be hollering. Yep. Oh no. No, 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 Lord, no, Lord, no, Lord, no! 
Perk! Kirk done got killed. It's time yeah. to move on. You know who he reminds me of? Remember that episode of Futurama where they're all like aging backwards? Oh yeah, Farnsworth. And young Farnsworth. Yeah. <laughs> It ain't what you think. And if it is, you don't want it. the flashlight i'm gonna go look for him you don't have to go uh, sally don't go i don't think that's a good idea sally i don't think you ought to go but maybe you go side the head sally <laughs> jerry! Jerry! y'all sound crazy as hell like the way y'all calling him jerry <laughs> stop you tell me if i was lost out there you wouldn't come looking for me i'd say hey yeah. Looks like a house. I love you, bye. <laughs> Same. <laughs> no sense in both of us getting murdered. No sense. No sense. Sally, I hear something. Stop. Stop. Ah! <laughs> what you doing? Run, bitch. Gonna let some twigs come between you and safety? No, please, please, help. please. Mm -mm. No. No. <laughs> that little two step. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Laughing at that poor girl. A little bit, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm a little impressed, like, that she didn't break a leg coming out of that window, you know? Oh, Lord, back into the trees. Chat. Oh Lord, he in on it. What are you doing? You, you got no need to worry. No! No, no, you just cooperate, young lady, and we'll have no trouble. No! Oh no, got her with the broom! Oh Lord! Bitch, do better. Come on. It's a broom. Gotta bring him down for supper, I reckon. Uh oh. Nope. Oh. It's not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. No. -uh. Oh, that's supposed to be alive? Not supposed to be. No, bitch. He is. Bruh. What the good damn? Uh. A whale? How? Hmm? What? Hmm, what? Is Peepaw wearing people? Or is that just what Peepaw looks like? I got questions! I've been thinking about letting Grandpa have some fun. You always said he's the best! Hey, Grandpa! We're gonna let you have this one! Yeah, it won't hurt none. Shit! Look, sometimes when you get old, you just can't hold your hammer up, okay? <laughs> Run, bitch! Get up from there! Get! Get! Uh-oh. I 
I did not sign on for this shit. Oh, got him. That's what's up. Good shot. Now, oh, is that it? That's it. <laughs> oh my god, what is this movie? So, that was the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Mm -hmm. Overall thoughts? I'll preface this by saying, like, I get that this is a classic, and I get why. Like, classic horror movie, you know? I see the premise. I see the groundwork that I think it probably laid for uh, future movies. <laughs> but I also, I don't think that this was a great movie. I don't think it was executed very well. I did not care for a lot of the fluff. Like I felt like there was about 30 odd minutes of unnecessary screaming yeah, and panning back and forth. There was a lot of shots that were drug out or. This is so screwed. Just, so screwed yeah, up. padded for time. I, 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 just, I kept thinking, I was like, y'all could not do this back and forth scream laugh thing or the second version of Chasing Through the Woods. You could, you could show some more like horrific gore. You know, you could show somebody else getting chopped up or whatever um but that yeah. might be my horribly it's, desensitized mind oh it's funny you say that oh because this is one of the least like bloody horror movies made and that's because yeah okay i'm the <laughs> chick at the end covered in blood was the most blood that i think i saw yeah it had like a lot of uh toned down violence and language mm -hmm. and the reason for that was is the director wanted to get this movie a PG rating this is in 74 uh, so back then the only mm -hmm. ratings were G P G R and X okay and every time no matter what how much ever editing they did to it and they sent it to the ratings board for like no baby it would come back with an X yeah so after many attempts and many edits, it came back with R, and finally the director just said he gave up, and it was released as an R. Gotcha. Uh, the director, uh, Toby Hooper, you've seen one other of his movies, I know for sure. He directed Poltergeist. Okay. Okay. Uh, he said he got the idea for this movie when he was Christmas shopping in a crowded store, and he was in the hardware section, and he saw some chainsaws. Like it was Christmas shopping, was crowded, and there was a lot of people around, and he wanted to get out. <laughs> Just had one of I those mean, we've thoughts. All, we've all had those thoughts, come on. <laughs> it's like, ooh, boy, this will make that line at the cash register a lot faster. Just talk about cutting in line. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> um, thanks. Just a tiny little golf clap. <laughs> Just a little golf clap. I got questions about Grandpa. Okay. Like, I love questions about Grandpa. Was he wearing a skin suit? Or was that supposed to just be him? I believe he was wearing a skin okay. suit. Okay. I was like, maybe the, this is really obvious and I'm just having a brain. The, the act of interesting note about that. The actor who played the grandfather, uh, John Dugan, it took him like five or six hours to get into makeup. Mm -hmm. And once he got into makeup, he said, I'm not doing this process again. Yeah. So every Film scene. It all. <laughs> yeah. So they had to shoot every scene he was in, like at once, like all in the same session, which they uh, took around like 30 hours. Damn. And they said the. The dinner scene there was the worst because they were shooting in Texas and there was a heat wave. Like the average temperature was over 100 Jesus. degrees. And a lot of the, a lot of the like meat they had in there and the food was rotting. Mm -hmm. And the smell of like BO, like people were passing out and getting sick. I mean, being in that much like 
latex makeup for that. Good God, I, that's the horror movie right there, is being and, in that room. <laughs> and that dinner scene, Edwin Neal, who was the guy that played the hitchhiker, mm-hmm. he he said that was the worst thing he's ever been through in his life. He, his quote was, that was the worst thing I've ever been through in my life, and I've been to Vietnam, where people were trying to kill me. So, I guess that kind of tells you how bad it was. God. Oof. Oof my goof. <laughs> So, Leatherface, Mm -hmm. that was fun. I guess I know where he's from now. Yeah, you asked if this was a true story. Yeah. It, no, but Leatherface and parts of him are based on a real life uh, serial killer. Dahmer? No. uh, Ed. Gaines? Ed Gaines? Gein? Gein? I don't know how to pronounce it. I thought it was Gaines. Maybe it is. Somebody sure let us gains. know. Or we'll look it up afterwards. His character was, and some aspects of him were based on Ed, and that's about it. The rest of it was okay. fictitious. Okay. I like that, though. That was, I think that was clever, putting that little thing at the top of the movie, because it, I'm sure, got people going like, is this based on a real story? <laughs> Did I miss this? <laughs> Yeah, it's like in retrospect, looking back, this was nowhere near as graphic as I was anticipating it to be. Like, I assume that one of the 23 remakes uh, has, you know, some pretty awful stuff, but I guess I was just thinking it was going to be a lot worse than it was. Are there any favorite parts or least favorite parts? Um, dang on, when no Leatherface come out of the woods there, that startled me. Now, that got me. That was the the first jump real scare that I had. I liked it when the truck driver was like, nope, flop. Um, yeah, he like, got out the helicopter and then as soon as Leatherface came around, the end of the trailer, he's like, yep, turn right back mm-hmm, around. Yep. I wasn't super sure if the gas station dude, like when they pulled over there, for a second, I was like, mm, are you in on it? And then sure enough, when she came back, I was like, oh, no, you dummy. <laughs> um, and my question is, have, were they eating people when they got their barbecue? I reckon so. It's More a, than likely. I mean, waste not, won't not. Oh, I just remember. Favorite part. The end. Dancing with my chainsaw. <laughs> like that one. <laughs> Like Leatherface as, just going crazy out there. Having a little, have a little, a little dosy do with himself. I swear to God, oh. that was. I saw that and I was like, all I could think of was the scene from the Umbrella Academy. Like everybody's like dancing yeah. along. That's something you need to edit together now. I believe a will. Believe a will. Yeah. I, I, I tickled yeah. myself. Um, I don't know why your mind went there, but all right. I don't know. That's just welcome to my brain. I liked Sally. She's running from Leatherface. She ran to the house. She didn't know it was their house. She's trying to get help. Went inside. Immediately saw Grandma and Grandma upstairs, and then Leatherface come in. Knew she was in the wrong house. <laughs> Turned around, took the first eggs that she saw, jumped through a window. Yeah, it's gone to go front and again same thing at the end once she got free like there's no looking for the front door she first window just out yeah go yeah <sighs> poor franklin man he didn't even yeah he was right they should have just left should have just left but... well i mean they couldn't because they didn't have keys but yeah <laughs> all right Is that it yeah, i think like, so i wanna, think that's it you want to rate it leave a will Maybe we'll. Um, I think I'll give this one just, I'll split it down the middle. I'll give this one a five. Like, I think it's got, got good legs. Uh, just the execution and the, just the shots, the unnecessary shots, uh, the, the padding, I think is what yeah, you I called it. Yeah, uh, padding and runtime. Just took me, took me out of it a lot. It was noticeable. Yes, that's, was- like, I felt myself being bored. And if I feel like I'm bored during a movie, I don't think that's a great movie. That's that's my that's my. Uh, I mean, I think most people feel that way. I mean, like 
feel like Maybe. that's not an unfair scale. Uh, I forgot one other note. The soundtrack for this, other than a couple of like bits of copyrighted music they had the rights to, none of the sound in the movie came from musical instruments. It was all recordings of sounds from inside of slaughterhouses. Oh, wow. So, so bits and pieces here and there, those copyright, like when, uh, you know, like background music. And whenever Louis C.K. was outside and there's that country music playing, like <laughs> little <laughs> bits of music here and there, but most of the soundtrack, a lot of it was just sounds from the yeah, slaughterhouse. You know what? I will bump it up. I'm going to bump it up to a six that you actually brought up a really good point. The, the sound design music, you know, I appreciated that. Like there at the beginning, and I, I appreciate the, the, the I appreciate the the outside of the box thinking on that. The sound. creativity the, yeah, for that. The sound I design. So we'll say oh, six. Six. We'll say huh? six. Glad you mentioned that. Okay. So I want to give a fair rating. I'm a fair fair lady. Okay. You could say that. Uh, you're my fair. There lady. we go. <laughs> That's what you're waiting on. <laughs> I was hoping for. Please go on. What's your rating? <sighs> Uh, my rating. Everybody, get ready to downvote. Uh, horror movie enthusiasts who like this movie and whatnot, get it. Yeah, let me know how wrong I am. But this, really? this is not one of my favorites. I mean, like, no. And I've seen it. I've seen it several times. It's just like for me, it's on the lower end. For me, I would give this probably like a four. Okay. Yeah, it's it's never been one of my favorites, and. Because some people might say, if it's not your favorite, then why'd you pick it to watch? It's not about whether or not I like it or not. To And like that's how I decide for you to watch it. It's one of those that it, we're watching horror movies and it's a, you know, very famous, iconic horror movie. Mm-hmm. Leatherface is a very famous horror character. So, Question. Okay. Is Mankind's Get Up uh, based off of Leatherface? If you know. It's, it's possible that he may have drawn some inspiration from that, but I have no idea. I got you. I got you. Well, what else from you, Guy? Uh, that's all I got, pretty much. Okay. Well, I am glad that we watched it because, like I said, now I can kind of see where some of all of these type movies have their, uh, you know, their groundwork. But um, thank you all for watching, hanging out. Uh, if you don't mind, please make sure to like the video, leave us a comment, let us know yeah. what one of you, you know, your favorite parts was. What, what you, you thought rated? of the movie? Is there a remake that you think that i should absolutely watch is there one that like this is what they meant to do or something i don't know um just let us know in the comments and if you don't already please make sure to subscribe to the channel so you can stay all stay up to date on all of our shenanigans i just can't talk tonight (laughs) um and if, if there's anything else from you nope okay well then uh we will see y'all next time with another first time bye